Team three's got 15th Street. Team two's got 14th Street. The clock is ticking for the Sanford PD and its new chief. Well, let's mount up, folks. Let's do it. The George Zimmerman case exposed a deep, bitter divide between the city's police and African Americans. On the job now only since April, Chief Cecil Smith. We're going to walk, knock on doors. Hopes going door to door. Talking to people in this city of a little over 50,000 will help get him out in front of a possible disaster. What is your worst fear here? Well, our worst fear is that we have people from outside of the community coming in and um, stirring up exactly what you talked about, violence in the community. It's a fear that goes all the way to the top of City Hall. In a candid conversation, Sanford Mayor Jeff Triplett talks about how a Zimmerman acquittal could bring an element of violence that the city has managed to avoid so far. That one person that came to town to throw a, throw a rock through a window or, or start a fight or you know do something that would provoke someone else, the provocation of, of, of violence. That's all it would take. That tiny little act could have made something big happen. We were a, a tinderbox. And they're worried that they could be again. In spite of the peaceful outcome of the massive demonstrations we saw here a year ago, Sanford has been working for months preparing for the end of the Zimmerman trial, even enlisting the help of local pastors who are sitting in the courtroom acting as observers. After that verdict, when you come back to your congregation, what do you hope you'll be able to tell them? That justice has been served. Will you be able to do that if George Zimmerman is acquitted? As a pastor and a leader in this community, I would have to. I feel confident with the skills and the God-given ability that I have to be able to articulate. Now, will they accept what I say? That would be totally up to them. That unknown has the city manager planning for something big. You're worried about a Rodney King type of riot here in Sanford? I'm saying that that's a scenario that's certainly a possibility. How do you prepare for that? Through law enforcement. It's a good question, and it's not one that I'm going to go into detail on. And neither is the city's police chief. What does this mean? Do you have SWAT teams that you're Again, ready I'm not, to go? I, I, I'm not going to get into that with you, what, what the actual secure plans are. Any special personnel coming in from outside? We have plans that are in place to work with our, our, our other departments, to work with the sheriff's department, and uh, as far as the particulars of the plans, we're not releasing that. Months of preparation, intense community relations, and a secret law enforcement plan, all to keep the peace in a city with a lot on the line. It's amazing watching that, David. So when Sanford officials say they're concerned about people sparking violence, who exactly are they worried about? Who are they going to be watching? Well, there are no individuals we're talking about here, but they're very sensitive about people outside of Sanford who might come into the city, into this emotionally charged environment, trying to stir up some kind of trouble. They've got multiple scenarios out there that they're preparing for, not just for an acquittal of George Zimmerman, but if uh, he is found guilty as well, they're also prepared if the celebrating.